Hey, Fishy Phyllis, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Hope everyone is doing well. I am doing fine on this Sunday morning. Today's video, why do I keep bare bottom tanks? This is a subscriber suggested video. Thank you so much. Um, and I've been asking for uh, suggestions from you guys on what videos to make, and I will gladly make them if I have any idea. You know, a lot of people are suggesting things that I've never talked about. The reason I've never talked about them is because I don't know. I'm not gonna just do some research and make a video. That's not how, that's on me. You know pretty much everything I talk about is from life experience or experience in the fish room. So, enough about that. Go ahead, grab yourself a snack and a beverage, and let's do this. All right, fishy folks, we're back. If you haven't noticed already, guys, if you could do me a favor, just hit that subscribe button and uh, gently boop the notification bell if you haven't done so already, just in case I have a disaster live stream like I did last week, or I release a new video on a day that I don't normally release, so you could be notified. So why do I keep bare bottom tanks? The answer is simple, I am cheap and lazy. Now, that's not why other breeders probably keep bare bottom tanks, but in, in all honesty, when I set up the fish room, I didn't want substrate because I didn't have the money for it. I just wanted tanks and fish and filter stuff so I could start breeding. <clears throat> I quickly realized I don't really need substrate uh, in my tanks um, because I don't have any plants. Now there's a couple reasons to keep substrate in your tanks. And um, there's a, I don't know if it's a myth or a thought people have, you need substrate for beneficial bacteria. And while it's true there is beneficial ba bacteria that do live in and on the substrate, the majority of it is in your biological filtration in your filters, whether it's a sponge filter, hang on back, or canister. Um, that's where the majority lives. By majority, I'm talking like 90% of it. Um, now, if you remember about the nitrogen cycle beneficial bacteria will only grow as big as their food source and so if you have a planted tank and you take all the substrate out you are removing beneficial bacteria you will have to be careful and watch your parameters to make sure your cycle doesn't crash in addition if you have substrate and you don't clean it properly when you remove it all that crap for lack of a better reason lack of a better term will come into the water column and could also crash your cycle so if you're watching this video going, I'm going to take all my substrate out because I don't need it, just be careful. Just be careful, that's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, so why don't I have substrate in my tanks? I don't need it. Um, it makes any maintenance that I would do easier without substrate. You can just get in with your gravel back, clean it all up, and not have to worry about sucking up plants or substrate. Um, and I save the expense. I don't need substrate. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, but Mike, I, I want plants. Well. You can have a bare bottom tank with plants. And I'm not telling you you need a bare bottom tank. I'm telling you if you're breeding fish for whatever reason, bare bottom is better unless your fish need the substrate. Like some people think plecos need substrate. They absolutely don't. As you can see, I have, you know, hundreds of plecos breeding in my tanks and no substrate. There's mome, which doesn't count. We all love the mome. Um, but there's no substrate. So there are fish that, you know, sand sifters, and I think cores really like to have the substrate, you know, to dig through and, you know, and, 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 and forage for their food. But um, guppies and plecos don't, and that's what I breed. So um, the couple other reasons why I don't have substrate. We talked about the cost. We talked about the ease of maintenance. Um, I, I don't typically like how the fake substrate looks. Now, I've had... Um, sand in my tanks, I like how that looks. I've had river rock or uh, little pebbles, I like how that looks, but I don't need it. I did have a tank years and years and years ago um, with substrate in it. It was a 30 breeder, so it was like this high, and I was trying to grow plants for profit. I bought a bunch of plants at a local fish store, and I was trying to propagate them and separate them and sell them. Of course, that didn't work because I'm not a plant guy. Um, but that tank had, you know, some substrate in it, and I still have it in five-gallon buckets, and I actually use it in um, box filters to weigh them down. So that's what I do. So most breeders don't have substrate because it's easier to clean, it's easier to see the fish and see any eggs or see what's going on. 
And you know, some breeders like Super Breeder Doug, they don't, he doesn't have substrate because he keeps his tanks pretty clean. Um, Dean out in, in, in Seattle, Corey's friend, his tanks are immaculate and there's no, you know, there's no substrate. And he's a breeding genius. So clearly you don't need substrate to breed most fish. Um, it's easier to clean. It's easier to see if there's dirt in the tank, if you consider them all dirt. Um, and it's just easier and cheaper overall. <clears throat> so let's talk about plants in a tank. If you have a bare bottom tank and you want plants, you can just get a small terracotta pot, put some substrate in there, put your plant in there, boom. When you want to clean it, you simply move the pot, clean it, move it back, and that's it. Now some fish like Chewy over here, who's you know trying to get my attention, he does not substrate because he would just, you know, he'd tear the whole tank up, which he does anyway. Um, but guppies and pluckos, they don't need substrate, and that's what I breed. Uh, when I was breeding angels, I didn't have substrate because if you have uh, fish that are egg layers that stick to stuff, you know, if you have a slate like this, and eggs start to fall, if they fall in a substrate, you're never gonna find them. If they fall in a bare bottom tank, there is a chance you could pick them up and, and uh, hopefully save them so that they become viable and give you fry. So I think that does it for uh, why breeders have bare bottom tanks. Let's go over it one more time. It's easier to maintain. There's no need for it. <clears throat> you can save the cost and it keeps the tank looking and actually being cleaner. So that's why breeders don't have substrate. Just think about it. If you had, you know, you have one or two tanks and you have to change water, you know, every two weeks or whatever you gravel vac every two weeks, whatever you do, imagine doing that on 10 or 15 tanks. And if you're breeding, you're probably overfeeding, so you're gonna do it more than every two or three weeks or whatever your schedule is. You might do it twice a week or three times a week. Um, I know breeders that have immaculate tanks that gravel vac every day. Discus breeders are some of the craziest folks and I know discus breeders that do that. <clears throat> they'll feed, they'll wait an hour, whatever's left, <laughs> gone. And, and they do that every feeding every day. That's a lot, it's too much for me. Um, all right, clean tanks, well, easier to maintain. No need because no plants. If you have a plant, you can put them in a pot. <clears throat> Save the expense and easier to see eggs and stuff. Now, if you have, like I said, if you have substrate, it's fine. If you have substrate and you're breeding, it's fine too. I'm not telling you to change. I'm just telling you what I don't have substrate. And why you set up a new tank, you might not want substrate. That's all I'm saying. All right, fishy folks, that does it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions for new videos, leave them down in the comments below. And of course, check out my website, michaelsfishium.com. By the way, thank you so much for all the orders last week. I had my biggest week ever, and I really appreciate it. I will be boxing fish for most of the day, uh, getting ready to bring them to the post office. So have a great day. Hope everyone's doing okay. Check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Oh, one more thing. Check out my buddy Graham from Aquarium Adventures. Uh, Graham is in England. In fact, I'm wearing his shirt. You can see right here. Um, Graham and I are very similar. We're both very handsome and very funny and very truthful. And if you're looking for a new channel to watch, check out Aquarium Adventures. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Um, I think that does it for about bare bottom tanks, why I keep them. It's easier to maintain, it's cheaper, and there's really no need for it. As we're talking about the need for things, um, I think people in general think fish are very, very, very weak, and some fish certainly are, but a, a fish, a healthy fish can do with changes in without substrate or with substrate or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. That was dumb. Hiya, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Quarantine day number, who cares? Yes, we're all shelter in place. At least we should be around the world until this CV crap is done. So, yeah. Anyway, today's video. No. Fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. I got an itch. You know, I woke up this morning, and I said, I'm gonna shave, even though it's Sunday, and I never shave on Sunday, because it's getting long. 
And I didn't. And I should have trimmed the mustache because they're going on my nose and tickling me. So it's probably more information than you needed, but you know, I don't really care. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video bare bottom tanks versus planted tanks, or tanks with substrate, I guess. Yeah. Should probably, before I do this, I should come up with a name of the video, at least the, the content that I'm going to talk about, right? Yeah, that, that would be like professional and crap. 